now here there is a problem that is if you see that if i go to login and here if i want to put admin and then one two three four password login it should actually take me to the admin dashboard right but it is taking me to the user dashboard that means in this place but it should actually go into the admin dashboard right that means i have a redirection problem here so how i can solve this problem now i am going to show you that now i am going to the midi layer okay here is the auth controller you see that into the http controllers there is a authentication controller that means into the auth folder there is a authenticated then session controller.php this file i am going to open this file now and in this file the redirection is actually controlled here okay regenerate intended yes in this location that means when you are going to log in this is actually the login view the default login view that means when i am going to click on login where actually this form comes from that means uh, into which controller the code is written to show this form that is actually here authenticated session controller you see that there is a function created uh, that is create function and here it is returning auth dot login that means into the auth dot login means actually the form is here into the auth views auth and there is login this is actually the template here so when a person is going to hit the login button after giving the username or email and password then he is going to the store function this is actually the store function here first the authenticate function will be run and then the session regenerate function will run after that if it is successfully authenticated then it is going to take the user uh, to the you see that redirect intended it is taking to the user to the uh, route service provider home here that means you will see there is a providers folder and there is a route service provider if you go here you will see that it is going to take the user to the dashboard this home means it is going to take the user to the dashboard slash dashboard so the code is written here but here i am going to change something that means when a user will log in that means i will get his information in this variable that is request then user and then his name or email or other information in this case i am going to take the role i want to check if this user is admin or vendor or other so here i am going to check if the request user role that means if after the login the user role is for example the admin right that means if the authentication is done and the request user is admin then what will happen then i will redirect i will return redirect i will redirect the user i can use the intended that is okay or i can also pass the user to a route which route it can be it can be admin then dashboard so here i can uh, take the user actually here uh, the route will not be here i can use the intended here and then admin dashboard or here i can give it a name for example the admin dashboard this route i am going to give a name here that is admin dot dashboard i can give any name here and in the case of vendor here i can call a name route and that is vendor dot dashboard okay so here uh, now i am going to call that is admin dot dashboard this is the route and if the user is logged in as a vendor that means i am going to call the else else if the request user role is vendor then he will be taken to the vendor dashboard so i call here vendor dot dashboard 
if every other things that means if these are not okay that means he is not user and he is not vendor then this two if condition will not work then normally the program will come to this line and it will just like before will go to the normal dashboard that means for the customer i will show the normal dashboard so okay let's check if it works or not now i am going here refresh now if i want to log in as a normal customer then i give here customer at the rate of gmail.com one two three four is my password and i click on the login you see this is the normal dashboard now i am going to log out again and here sorry and here i am going to login page and i want to log in as an admin now and one two three four it should now take me to the admin dashboard so click on login you see that now i am uh, to the admin dashboard here is actually no logout button so i am going to do one thing that is in the case of view file you see that my view file is into the views admin and dashboard so after that i call a login okay so this is my login like this so refresh l uh, sorry l not login log out this is log out button so i am going to refresh log out button now i will write code here by default the bridge authentication system tells me how to log out so i will not write my own logout i am just going to use their system that they created so i am going here uh, i am going here to the authenticator session controller destroy function okay that is the function but i am going to their what login to their layout navigation navigation okay so in the navigation there is a logout like this so this is their code to log out i am going to copy this and i am going to come to my dashboard and here paste so they just log out using the post route right so i cannot use anchor like this here i will have to use the post route but uh, here one thing i can do that is you see that there is a drop down link x drop down link is ref so i can use here the anchor so i call here anchor i am going to delete this one and here i am going to write normal logout i can use the anchor because the default behavior of this anchor is prevented using the javascript behavior that means by using the event dot prevent default so the it i am going to call it like this that is route logout so here i am going to use my blade syntax that is route logout so here when a person will click on logout he will be successfully logged out from the system now if i go here i am going to copy this because i will check if after logout i can come to this page again so i am going to click here logout done now i paste it here yes it is working that means i cannot get access to that page again so that means the logout functionality is working so the same thing i am going to copy from here and in my vendor dashboard i am going to paste the same code nothing i need to change so this is okay so okay now let's uh, check with the vendor if i want now to log in as a vendor 1234 it will take me to the vendor dashboard you see it is taking me to the vendor dashboard i can also log out from here and yes it is working 